All right, what I'm gonna show you how to do is rip this po uh, rip this uh, Buster's motor apart. It's very easy to do. First, remove the collar. Two, two Allen screws there. Loose it up. Notice there's like a little lip there. The lip rests against the bearing. Now, for the guy who says it's all right to fly without the collar, this is what happens. All right, <laughs> that's without the collar. Now to get this. You got one screw here, two, three. There's three. Some some motors got two. So you loosen this up, three screws. Alright. And then what you do is you wanna hound this out. See? Okay. Boom. So we got that out. Now you want to get the bearings out. Very easy. Find like a piece of rod, like maybe fly fly ball material, thick. Go down like this on an angle. All right, and just tap it out. There goes one. There goes two. All right. Oops. Two bearings here on the bottom. The top. Do the same thing. Put the ball in here on an angle, push down on the bearing, boom, there it goes out to the other bearing. Alright, that's it. Um, also, what you want to do is, I made a post before this, uh, I made some posts about this before. Do not use these Allen screws in here. These are three point, no, these are three millimeter by three millimeter set screws. See them? Replace them with three by six. So what you're doing is you use twice as long screws. Alright, and you put them in the three spots or two spots on the bottom. Okay, um, what you like to do is uh, try to find ceramic bearings that are sealed. In other words, you don't have to worry about it you know, being greased. Get the, the, the finest grade you could buy. I put a couple links up to uh, some bearing places you can find this at. Same thing with here. Alright, the bearings are not damaged for me removing them. They could be reused. This is a brand new motor, by the way. Alright, just put, you know, same thing back. Same thing back here. You know, you don't have to put a lock tight. Not necessary. It's pretty tight fitting motor. Now, I did take this motor apart before. But um, the shaft's a little bit harder to come out than I showed in the video. That's because there's some Loctite there. So what you do is, now it's nice and smooth. Little oil, back and forth, wax of the hammer. With some grease on both ends of the shaft. So it doesn't bind up against aluminum. Now it's nice and smooth. Alright. While you're assembling it, make sure you see you got three flats on the shaft here. Two, I mean two flats. This goes on the bottom side over here for two sets of screws to catch. And um, this here is for the collar. Alright, the single one up top. Alright, take care.